Is your company in the process of investing in a config price quote software, but it is uncertain about its business value? From Tacton's 20 plus years of manufacturing experience, we have collected and documented the value Tacton has created for our customers. Through our customer value management program, we leverage that data for companies like yours to estimate the net monetary value Tacton CPQ would have for you. We met up with Tacton's Chief Product Officer Nils Olsson and VP of Sales Engineering Johan Jakobsson to learn more. So uh, if we go all the way back, um, value documentation or customer value management as it is called in academia is the approach of looking at how you affect customers that you're working with and based on that draw conclusions around what effect new customers could have uh, using your products. Um, it was uh, formulated at Kellogg School of Management in uh, Chicago. The really interesting thing with um, this approach of documenting value is rather than going at a customer and saying um, what if you got this type of increase, what if you had an uptake in orders or a reduction in some type of cost element, um, what we do here is we actually base it on what actually happened for existing uh, companies using our stuff. Um, so when we, for instance, look at the uptake in orders, uh, that's not a what if element. It's actually coming from real facts, stuff that actually happened uh, by using our products. So when we start uh, to document the value, we work uh, according to three uh, axes, you can say. So the first one is uh, quality, the second one is uh, revenue, and then the third one is uh, efficiency. And within those axes, then we're collecting a, a number of data points. So if we start with revenue, for example, we're looking at uh, uh, win rate, uh, increased win rate. We're looking at uh, quoting time, getting quotes out through the door faster, and potentially also increase the number of quotes you deliver. If we look on efficiency, uh, we're mainly looking at uh, quoting time, first initial quote and also the second quote, but also things like a ramp up of new sales staff. And the third uh, dimension or axis is the, um, the quality axis. And here we're talking about uh, order errors uh, and uh, you know, a number of handovers uh, and things like that that improve or impact your quality. These data points are normally data points that you're already aware of. And uh, as I normally or sometimes say, is if you don't have them, you should have them. So it's the work that needs to be done anyway. Based on the research we've done on our current install base, and those are pretty impressive numbers. We're talking about 30% uh, in efficiency increase, which is a big number, but that's actually what our research show, is showing us. We're looking at 8%, uh, and these are averages, I need to uh, say. Uh, we're looking at 8% increase in the number of quotes being delivered. Uh, and we also see a dramatic uh, reduction in the number of order errors. So the typical customer journey when, when it comes to value uh, assessment, to doing a value assessment, is starting by a value workshop. Uh, we basically introduce um, how we go about quantifying the value that is at hand. Um, and then together with um, the company um, that we're working with, uh, we then gather the information from their existing uh, situation. What amount of quotes are they uh, producing each year? What's the average profitability for one, one order? Uh, what's the time it takes to produce quotes and so forth? So we take your uh, data points and we merge it with our research results, and that is then giving us the, the projected benefits. So it varies a little bit depending on the organization uh, you're in, but normally we have, uh, maybe uh, at first we talk to a product manager uh, that's owning the, the project. We normally involve the head of sales, head of marketing, uh, chief digital officer, uh, those kind of roles. Uh, people with a business uh, perspective. Normally the discussion might start a little bit slow, but when we, they realize that we really want to help them to quantify the value, we get into some great discussions. 
we recently had a case where um, the organization we were working with thought the, the main value was within uh, efficiency, and we started to uh, dig along that axis. But eventually we found out the, the real value was somewhere else in the organization. Where was it? In the, on the revenue side. Number of quotes and uh, uh, win rate. I think the, the real wow moment is when we take their data points and merge it with our research findings. Once you get these insights in place, um, it then feeds into the implementation of the CPQ solution. It becomes KPIs that we can use to navigate uh, the project, making sure that we are targeting the outcomes that we originally um, um, set out to, to accomplish. And of course, once the CPQ solution has been set in place, we now have a great way to go back and measure the actual effect it had, comparing that with uh, the business case that we constructed in the beginning. There are many investment options for your organizations uh, or for organizations out there today and we want to make sure that you are in investing in the right options. For us, uh, it means really making sure that we are delivering on our promise to our customers. So for Taxon, we, we are a company that live and die by the success of our customers. If we engage with a company to implement a CPQ solution to do the digital transformation that it entails, that has to be a success. So when we are looking at what products we have, what products we will develop, how we guide our customers uh, through the, the digital transformation, if we don't know what value it will provide, we would be blind. So for us, customer value is not just something which is good to know. It's actually essential for our company.